Hello and welcome to Susie B Living's Moon Phase Gardening Series. So I'm going to take you through the next week, which is Monday the 6th of November to Sunday the 12th of November. And I'm looking down because I've got all my notes in front of me of what I will be doing in the garden at that point in time. Um, today is Sunday evening, it's the 5th of November and... Um, it's been very rainy this week and very damp this week. So I've done a little bit in the garden. Um, I uploaded a video yesterday just to show you my squash harvest and also my broad beans that I put in as well. So if you wanna go and have a look at that, you're very welcome to. So that's what I had been doing. All right, let's start with the next week. So Monday, the 6th of November is an unfavorable day. Today's been an unfavorable day as well. An unfavorable days is when you put your feet up, go inside and don't do any gardening. I mean, you can potter around. If, you, if it's a beautiful day, you can go outside and you know have a little bit of a potter around, do some sweeping, some weeding, whatever you want, that type of thing. But unfavorable days are unfavorable to anything that is actually growing to eat. So no sowing, no transplanting, and all of my categories are just non-existent on an unfavorable day. Let's go with Tuesday. Tuesday the 7th of November and Wednesday the 8th of November are both fruits days. Now, remember my categories. I have sowing, transplanting, weeding and maintenance, um, feeding and watering, and harvesting. I have five categories that I try and kind of get through on each moon phase day and particular cat you know um roots uh, fruits all of that business so for tuesday and wednesday on fruits days uh you can sow your broad beans and you can sow them direct now so broad beans do really well if anything is under 10 degrees centigrade so um the root structure will grow very well underground and then you'll start to get your little stems coming up above ground. Um, I have already done my, if you look at the last video, you'll see that I did my broad beans direct in a bed. I also have some broad beans in some modules. So if you want to transplant anything and you have some broad beans in modules, you can transplant them out. So you can transplant them out direct or you can transplant them into pots, which is what I'm doing in the greenhouse. Um, and I'm going to overwinter them. If you start to plant your broad beans now direct, you should hopefully get a harvest in early to mid-May. So that's fantastic. And that is the beauty of overwintering broad beans. The broad bean that I particularly like is called Aquadulce Claudia. And I like it because they're very long beans and very, very big beans inside the pods. So that's sowing and transplanting. Um, if weeding and maintenance, there's nothing to do for fruits at this time of year because we really don't have many fruits in the garden. Uh, feeding and watering, exactly the same, nothing to do. If you're harvesting chilies, keep harvesting your chilies. Um, I don't overwinter my chilies, so because I start sowing them again at the in December. You'll see when I come up with my moon phase gardening in for December. So I just keep harvesting chilies and as the plants finish, I chop them down, put them on the compost, and then I reuse the compost the um, compost in the pots for something else, either in the garden or I'll re reuse them for something else. So that is it. The other thing I want to check is I want to check my squash and see how they're doing. If you looked at my video yesterday, you'll see that my squash is over in the greenhouse on the allotment. It should be ready now to take home and uh, I will have to find a spot for them to overwinter at home. So that is Tuesday and Wednesday, the 7th and 8th of November. From Thursday, we go into very funny time on the moon phase gardening calendar. And that is because there are a couple of little spots of unfavorable times. I am gonna give them to you because I do find that unfavorable 
favourable times, if I can say it, are important because that's when I don't do any sowing or any maintenance on my plants. So if you are going to follow along with the Moon Phase Gardening series, uh, I will give you the unfavourable times. And I'm going to start with Thursday morning, Thursday the 9th of November. Thursday morning up until 2pm is an unfavourable time. So again, um, no, no planting, sowing, uh, feeding, weeding, whatever we do, nothing at all. But from after 2 p.m., we then start roots, and roots then continues on until Sunday with an unfavorable in the middle of it, and I'll give you that as we go along. So, um, roots, let's talk about Thursday. Let's do Thursday, Friday, first of all, both after 2 p.m. on Thursday, and then Friday, roots days. Okay, so sowing. You can sow some red onion sets if you want to. I've mentioned before that I'm not a big um, set sower at this time of year for onions. I like to do them in the spring. Because, especially red onions because they have a tendency to bolt in the spring but I didn't get many red onions in my harvest this year because most of my onions got allium leaf miner so that means that I am just going to do enough red onions to get me through a month I would say I'm hoping if I plant these sets now I will get them um, in July and that should bring me through to using all my red onions that I've got in store and these new ones. If they bolt, you can still use them because the onion itself is still usable. Um, they're just not great if you leave them in the ground. That's the first thing I will be sowing. I'll just be doing about, well, I've got two packets. I've done one already, one kind of net bag, and I will be doing the other net bag and then that's it, no more. The other thing to sow are carrots. Now you can overwinter carrots and you can um, overwinter them in your greenhouse. Um, so I am going to overwinter um, some carrots. I've already planted one trough of carrots, but then I ran out of seeds. So I've just ordered some more seeds, they're coming, and I am going to plant a couple more big troughs of carrots. The variety I use this time of year is called Napoli. It's an F1. I have found that this is the best overwintering variety and then I hope that I will get carrots in mid-May so my winter carrots will be finished and I will be getting some nice little carrots in mid-May. The other thing that you can continue sowing now is garlic. I like to sow my garlic in October, but it, sometimes you don't have beds ready um, and you just need to dot them wherever you can. And as things come out, you can put your garlic in. So you can still sow your garlic. You will get this garlic, I would say, in late June, early July, um, to, and you can overwinter it. So don't worry, keep sowing your garlic. I only do the soft neck garlic. Um, the only hard neck I have is the elephant garlic. So get those in. Um, transplanting for roots, I'm nothing to transplant at the moment. Everything is in the garden or wherever it needs to be in the greenhouse. Um, weeding and maintenance. Okay, so these are the roots that I've got growing and that I just check on every root stay. They are my winter radishes, my leeks, the garlic that I put in already, the onions that I have put in already, I've got some turnips and I've got some parsnips. So all of those roots I check just on roots day, make sure that I, if there's any weeding that needs doing, I will weed and just check them over and make sure they're growing okay. Feeding and watering, nothing this time of year. Everything is fine and harvesting really as and when. Whenever I need some carrots, I will harvest some carrots. So if I know that I'm gonna make stuff um, you know, with carrots or any roots, I will harvest them on roots days and then keep them for whatever I'm gonna make them for. Um, the one thing I'm going to do, which I haven't done, is I'm gonna check my potatoes that I've got in store. That is one thing that I'm definitely gonna do on roots days. Okay, so the other unfavorable morning, I suppose it is, is on Saturday morning. So Saturday the 11th of November, up until 2 p.m. 
is um, unfavorable again. Uh, and then after that, it is roots. And that continues through to Sunday, to 2 p.m. on Sunday. So we've got Thursday after 2 p.m., all day Friday, Saturday after 2 p.m., and Sunday up until 2 p.m. They're all roots. In between that, we've got the two unfavorables. And then on Sunday, the, um, what was it, the 12th? Yeah, Sunday, the 12th of November, after 2 p.m., we go to flowers and flowers day starts then. So for your sewing, if you've got any prepared bulbs, and by prepared, I mean that they um, have been put into the cold artificially, and they will then be flowering for you more or less uh, Christmas and January. And they are normally Narcissus and Hyacinths and also Amaryllis. If you've got any of those, you can sew those on Flowers Day. Um, and also if you've still got some normal bulbs like tulips or any kind of spring bulbs, keep putting them in. You can put them in the ground, you can put them in pots. Whenever I get new bulbs, I always put them in pots. Otherwise, the, um, and then in the second year, excuse me, in the second year, they go into the ground. And you can still do that. If the, if the ground's not frozen, you can plant whatever you want to do with bulbs. So that's the sowing. Transplanting, I have some cauliflowers and some calabrese to still, um, well, take the seedlings out of the little modules and put them into nine centimeter pots. They weren't good enough to uh, do the last um, flowers day. They were too leggy. So I've got to do that and I will keep, keep on that until I can do that every flowers day that comes up. And then I overwinter these nine centimeter pots in the greenhouse and then I put them in the garden as I need them whenever I take something out of the garden or on the allotment um, to do with um, brassicas. Weeding and maintenance. So what flowers have we got? We have normal flower beds, of course, weed and maintain those. Um, also my purple sprouting broccoli, that's a flower. The calabrese is a flower and the cauliflowers are flowers. So all of those we'll have a good look at. I'll take the nets off them and check them over and weed as I need to. Harvest, I'm harvesting cauliflowers and I'm harvesting calabrese at the moment. So that's wonderful, it always is wonderful. And also, if you haven't lifted your dahlias yet, your dahlia tubers, you can do that on a flowers day as well. If you're leaving them in the ground, great. If you can do that, that's great, but I can't. So lifting dahlias as well. That's also on Flowers Day. So that's that. That's the week coming up. And that is the week of Monday 6th of November to Sunday 12th of November 2023. There's still lots to be getting on with. Um, so if you don't put your garden to bed and you want to continue planting and sowing and growing with me, then uh, let's do it together because I will be continuing. December and January gets a little bit quieter, but there's always something going on with me. So I hope you um, have a good gardening week and moon phase week, and I will see you next Sunday, exactly the same time for the next instalment. Give us a thumbs up. That'd be great if you like the videos and subscribe and we will, I will take you through your gardening year by the moon phases. See you later.